the D-Bomb from Missile Baits is the number one go-to flipping bait for bass anglers all over the world. Now, what makes this bait so good is the pliable, thick, ribbed body, and then the thin appendages on the back that move with just the slightest twitch of your rod. It drives bass crazy. Now, as I said, it's the number one bait for flipping and pitching, and you can also put a big heavyweight and punch this thing into the heaviest, thickest cover that you can find. Also, works great on a swing head when you want a bigger profile. And then, you know, just the standard Texas rig is probably the way I've caught the most fish on it. Just Texas rig it like that. You can cast it or you can flip it and pitch it around cover. And each one of these baits is made right here in the USA. It's got anise oil put right into the baits as they're being made. And then there's crawfish oil added to the bag. So you get that sweet yet fishy smell every time you open that bag. And these baits are a low salt content formula that has neutral buoyancy. That neutral buoyancy is really key to give you that good action at slow speeds and at slow and working it very slow because when that bait hits the bottom and you're working it, uh, those appendages move back and forth in the water without having even to move the rod. It's pretty amazing to watch underwater. But then we're gonna have six of these baits in each one of the bags for a suggested retail price of $3.99. The Baby D-Bomb by Missile Baits is a tiny little bite-sized creature bait made for catching bass. Now, I have a couple primary ways that I like to fish the Baby D-Bomb. I love it on a Texas rig. That is one of my absolute favorite baits to flip around when I just want a lot of different bites. But you can also put a big weight on it, go punching through that heavy stuff. You can put it on the back of a jig like the Missile Jigs Mini Flip. Fits perfect. And then also one of my favorite ways to fish it is to put it on what's called a swing head. Swing head is really good. I've caught a ton of smallmouth bass on that swing head, along with largemouth and spotted bass. But what makes this bait unique is that it's short and compact. It's only 3.65 inches long. Uh, it's got the ribbed body, which is very pliable and soft. And when those bass pick it up, they're going to just hold on to it and hold on to it. It is made right here in the USA. Each bait has anise oil made into the baits, and it's also got a little bit of crawfish oil added to the bags when they're bagged so that they get that sweet yet fishy little smell to it. Uh, each of the baits are neutrally buoyant with a low salt formula. And what that does, that neutrally buoyant formula and the low salt helps make the baits more durable. They make them last longer, and they also have more action when they're fished at slow speeds. So you, you pitch that bait in there, it hits the bottom, that neutrally buoyant bait is just gonna move real slow underwater as when you're not doing anything. And, and then those, those fish are not gonna be able to stand it. They're gonna come in right in there and bite it. And I have just caught a ton, a ton of fish on this baby D-bomb right here. Now the colors I like to throw on the baby D-bomb are kind of all over the place. Green pumpkin, of course, is a top selling color. Whenever I'm flipping and pitching, I'm gonna go with Super Bug or a Bruiser Flash. Those are also great selling colors. Uh, if I'm gonna be in a little clearer water, I'm gonna probably go with either Green Pumpkin Flash or Watermelon Red. Those are, those are also really good colors. And I'm fishing around grass. Candy Grass is a great, great color in the summertime around grass. So there's gonna be seven baits. They come in each one of these bags for a suggested retail price of $3.99. This is the Destroyer by Missile Base. Now this is a man size ribbed body creature bait made to catch big bass. This thing is fully extended, about seven inches long. It has got the ribbed body, which has a great ability to hold a hook. Plus it's very pliable and soft. And then you've got these twin ribbon tails at the bottom that are just big and they undulate with just the slightest twitch of the rod and it drives those big bass absolutely crazy. I have caught a ton of big bass on this bait right here. My far and away favorite way to fish the Destroyer is Texas rigged to flip and pitch, but it's also amazing on a swing head 
And then when you want a really big profile on the back of that Carolina rig, it's an awesome option. The Destroyer is made with a low salt content formula, which gives it great action at very slow speeds and helps with that durability. And then as they're bagged right here in the USA, these baits have anise oil made into them. And then they have a little bit of crawfish oil added to the bags when they're put in those bags. So you have uh, that sweet yet fishy smell to them when you take them out. And I tell you, the color options are all over the place. I have a handful of my favorites. Green pumpkin, of course, is a really good, versatile, all-around color. Copper chopper is a great bluegill imitator, a little variation of the green pumpkin. Green pumpkin flash is definitely my favorite for pretty much all the springtime uh, applications that you're going to have. And then if the water gets a little stained, you're going to want to go to more of your black and blues, like superbug or bruiser flash. And then in the summertime around that grass, uh, candy bomb is really hard to beat as well. So you have a, a you know a bunch of different color options for you, and you're going to have six of these baits in each one of the bags for a suggested retail price of $4.99. This is the Baby Destroyer by Missile Baits. This thing is a ribbed creature bait that's going to catch a ton of bass. Now the primary ways I'm going to fish the Baby Destroyer is going to be on a Texas rig or Carolina rig. It is absolutely one of my favorite Carolina rig baits. And then the Tokyo rig is also a great way to fish the Baby Destroyer. And what makes this bait so good is that it's got these two twin tails on the back that undulate and kick at very slow speeds. So whether you're, you're pitching it with a real light weight or medium weight or heavier weight, those two tails are going to undulate and kick. And then that ribbed body is really soft. It's going to give the bass a lot of uh, soft, natural uh, action once they bite it. And then it comes in a variety of colors. They're going to, you know, match whatever you're fishing for in that particular area. Superbug and Bruiser Flash are some of the top selling colors, along with Green Pumpkin, of course. That's going to be one of the top selling colors, but June Bug gets my nod quite a bit when I'm pitching and flipping the bait. And then I use GP3 and Green Pumpkin Flash when I'm using it on the Carolina rig quite a bit. And then for some reason on the Tokyo rig, I just have a ton of confidence in that candy bomb color. And all of these baits are made right here in the USA. They're made with anise oil in the baits. And then there's a little bit of crawfish oil added to the bags. So you get that sweet yet fishy smell. And each of these baits are going to be neutrally buoyant, which is going to give the baits the most action underwater. Uh, when it's at slow speeds, when those tails kick, they're going to not pull up. They're not going to pull down. They're just going to be neutrally buoyant, going to get the maximum action, maximum durability out of each one of these baits. And so the Baby Destroyer comes 10 in a bag for a suggested retail price of $4.99. This is the Crawfather by Missile Baits. This is a three and a half inch crawfish shaped soft plastic lure made to catch bass. The most unique part about this bait are the two undulating claws that go on the very back of it. it they move at very slow speeds. I designed this bait because I could not find another crawfish bait out there on the market that would undulate at slow speeds and at faster speeds. And that's what we did with the Crawfather. It works in a number of different techniques, works great on a Texas rig, it works great punching, it works great on a Carolina rig, also looks really good on a chatter bait when I want the bait to sink down a little bit further and not have as much resistance but yet still have some action. Crawfather does well there and it also makes a good jig trailer as well. Now this bait is made with a material that is neutrally buoyant, which means it does not float and it does not sink. That gives the bait maximum action and maximum durability. Now what you'll find is that they're also made with anise oil in the baits as they're manufactured and then there's crawfish oil added to the baits as they're bagged and that gives them that sweet but yet fishy smell and there's going to be seven of these craws in each bag for a suggested retail price of $3.99. This is the Missile Craw from Missile Baits. 
This is a four inch crawfish shaped bait made to catch bass by flipping and pitching. Now there are other applications that this can be used for, but mainly what we're gonna be doing is Texas rigging for flipping and pitching, and then we're gonna be punching using the big weight when you wanna go through the heavy cover to get to where those bass are, and you need a little bit different action. Now I designed this bait because flipping tubes are notorious for losing lots of fish. This bait right here has a hook slot right in the belly. That hook slot helps you, when you have it Texas rigged, helps to have that hook pop through very easily. You get great hookups on this bait. Now, as this bait is falling, when you have it Texas rigged, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be darting and be just a real erratic action. You cannot get this bait to fall straight when it goes down. That is not what this bait is designed for. When you want something slim and trim, not bigger and bulky like a jig or a D-bomb, you want something a little more finesse in your flipping arsenal, the Missile Crawl is exactly what the doctor ordered. I really like to use more of the black and blues when I'm flipping and pitching. Bruiser Flash and Superbug are definitely my top two there, but there's times when the water's a little bit clearer, I wanna go to a, a regular green pumpkin. That's our top selling color. Uh, those three colors can kind of get you through most situations unless you want something with a little more red in it in which you might pick up a California love color. Uh, th those colors right there will get you through most situations when you're flipping and pitching. Now this bait is made from a light salt content which makes it neutrally buoyant and it gives it the maximum amount of action when worked at slow speeds once that bait has gotten to the target, hit the bottom, or is up against a branch. Then also it makes it more durable than most plastics. And then when each of them are made, they're made with anise oil in the baits as they're bagged. They have crawfish oil added to the baits. So you get that sweet yet fishy smell to them. And they're made right in the USA. We've got eight of these in a bag for a suggested retail price of $3.99. This is the Twin Turbo by Missile Baits. It is a 3.3 inch twin tail grub that is made specifically for bass fishing. Now, there are plenty of twin tail grubs out there on the market, but many of them are just jammed into a pack. And so when you buy a pack, you get them out and only maybe two or three at best are fishable. So what we did is they, we made a sleeve inside of the, inside of the bag that comes out nice and even, and all eight of these twin turbos are perfectly ready to fish with both of the appendages gonna kick exactly like they were designed to. Now, they were designed to be put on the back of jigs. They work great on swim jigs. They work great on structure jigs and football jigs fishing down on the bottom. And they also work great on the back of chatter baits. Whenever you want a lot of resistance, you want to keep that bait up real high, maybe keep it over top of grass. It is a great, great chatterbait trailer as well. So you're going to be catching a lot of bass in a lot of different situations uh, because these appendages, they move with just the slightest, slightest twitch, the sli slightest resistance is going to make those uh, undulate and move through the water. Each one of these baits is made with a low salt content version so that they're neutrally buoyant, they have great action, and they're definitely durable. And what you're going to get is eight of these twin turbos in each package for a suggested retail price of $3.99. The Tomahawk 8.75 for Missile Baits is a 8.75 inch twin ribbon tail worm made to catch bass. Now what I say twin ribbon tails, there's two twin ribbon tails on the back. They undulate at the slightest twitch of your movement of that worm, making the bass go crazy. Now, well, you're gonna have a tapered head on the front, so you're gonna get really good hook sets. You're gonna have the segmented ribbed body in the middle uh, to hold a bigger style hook. You're gonna fish more of a five-aught style hook. You've got a lot of different rigging options with this bait right here. You've got Texas rig. You've got on a swing head. You've got on a Carolina rig. Those are probably the top three ways you're gonna fish this bait. This color right here is called Plum. It is one of my favorites in the summertime, no matter where I'm fishing. But then you can't go wrong with the Green Pumpkin and with Blue Fleck. Those are also two of my favorites, but whatever basic colors you're looking for, Missile Baits has that as well. 
This worm is made in the USA. It is made with anise oil in each one of the baits so that you get that sweet smell. And then as the baits are bagged, they're gonna have crawfish oils added to them so you get that sweet yet fishy smell in each one of the bags. It's gonna have a neutrally buoyant consistency, which is gonna make the, the baits a little more durable than most plastics, but it's also gonna get to give that great action as the baits worked at slow speed. So you're gonna get six of these in each one of the bags for a suggested retail price of $3.99. This is the 48 by Missile Baits. This is a 4.8 inch long weighted stick bait worm made to catch bass. Now, the weighted stick baits are nothing new. The Yamamoto Senko is the gold standard is what all weighted stick baits are measured against. And the distinct difference between these, the Senko and the 48 is the design advantages that we have in here allow you to have more rigging options Plus the blunted ends on both sides allow you to catch twice as many fish when one end tears up, you can rig the bait on the other side. Plus it has a thinner middle section, which helps the shimmy in a wacky rig situation. But this, this also works great on Texas rig. As I mentioned, works great on a wacky rig, works great on a flick shake, also works great on an unweighted Texas rig, works also well on a Nico rig, and then the one really unique advantage about the 48 is what we call the reverse shimmy rig. The reverse shimmy rig is a weightless Texas rig with a 132nd ounce weight into the rear of the bait. The bait will actually glide backwards and shimmy at the same time, driving bass absolutely crazy. That is my favorite way to fish the 48. And just like all missile baits, they're made with that anise oil that's, that's made with the baits, also gonna have uh, the crawfish oil added to the bags so you're going to get that sweet yet fishy smell when you bring them out of the bags and in each bag you're going to find eight of these 48s perfectly stacked so that they're not going to be just stuffed in there crossed over you're not going to get any deformed bait they're all going to be exactly the way you want to fish them perfectly straight and there's going to be eight in each bag for a suggested retail price of $4.99. The Shockwave 4.25 by Missile Baits is a four and a quarter inch boot tail swim bait that has great medium tail swing, catches plenty of bass. That is exactly what I've designed it for, but I have found that a lot of other game fish like to eat the Shockwave 4.25 as well, like walleye, perch, pike, uh, and sea trout. They absolutely love the Shockwave 4.25. The primary ways that I like to fish the Shockwave 4.25 are on a ball head jig. This is great in a number of different applications, can be fished on a spinning rod or a bait caster. Then you can also put it on a belly weighted swim bait hook, comes through grass and other cover amazingly well. You can throw it right into the thickest cover, bring it through real slow and have those fish come out there and crush it. And then one of my other favorite ways is to put it on, a, on an underspin like this right here. It's got the blade on the bottom side of a jig head. This is great in the winter time or whenever the fish are feeding on shad in a little bit deeper areas, that, uh, that underspin right there can be an absolute killer. When we're talking about colors, since this is a bait fish imitator, all of your white bait fish type colors are gonna be what you're gonna wanna fish. Uh, the top three selling colors are pearl white, bombshell and fishalicious and of course the new pink bombshell is one of those that i really like throwing at them to give them a little different color to to look at now all of these baits are made right here in the usa they're made with a low salt content formula which gives them better durability better action and then also they're neutrally buoyant which looks the most realistic uh, at, when fished at really slow speeds. So the Shockwave 4.25 is gonna come five baits in one bag for a suggested retail price of $3.99. This is the Shockwave 3.5 for Missile Baits. This is a three and a half inch finesse swim bait that's made specifically for catching bass, but it also catches many other game fish like walleye, sea trout, perch, basically anything that eats a minnow, 
that has a tail kick to it, that's what they're going to go after. And this has a minnow shaped body and then it has a boot tail on it that has a medium tail swing. So it's not going to be overly hard, but it's going to, it's going to kick at really slow speeds. And that's what I wanted when I designed this bait right here. Uh, you can fish it a number of different ways. Primarily, I fish it on a round ball jig head like that on lighter line, eight or 10 pound test that you can catch bass all over the place. Uh, also great as a chatterbait trailer. It's probably my favorite chatterbait trailer. Uh, then you can also put it on a, a number of uh, jig heads like this on an umbrella rig and, can, and bring that through the water. It catches a lot of bass, especially in the winter time. Uh, my color selection is are going to be mostly bait fish colors. Uh, pearl white is something I love when the water's a little bit stained. The Fishalicious is my favorite clear water color. But then the bombshell, when you need something with a little bit of uh, a chartreuse kick to it, that bombshell comes in real handy. And then when I want more of a perch or a uh, bluegill imitator, I really like this shrapnel. And there's a few other colors in there to may fit whatever bait fish is in your lake or river that you're trying to mimic. The baits are made of soft plastics with a low salt content, which gives it more durability. It gives it better action. And it also has that neutral buoyancy, which also helps maximize the action. The baits are made in the USA. They're made with anise oil in the bags. So uh, then they have other fish oils added to the bags. When they're, when they're put together, that gives them that sweet yet fishy smell that you, that you smell when you open the bags. There's gonna be eight of these bad boys in each pack for a suggested retail price of $3.99. The Drop Craw from Missile Baits is a three inch ultra finesse craw bait made for fishing on a drop shot and putting on the back of a micro jig. Those are definitely my two top techniques for this bait right here. It is gonna catch all types of bass. Now you see a little small bait like this and you might think, oh, that's gonna be a little fish bait. Not so fast. This bait, I have caught some big spotted bass, some big large mouth, and some big smallmouth. It is absolutely death on a big largemouth that's being real spooky uh, when they're spawning and definitely other, other time periods when the finesse tactics are just a little too big and you need to go ultra finesse, the drop crawl really comes in handy. Now, as you can see, it is a three inch slim crawfish shaped bait. Works great on a drop shot Works great on the micro jig, as I mentioned. And on the drop shot, you can fish it one of two ways. You can either nose hook it, or you can fish it on a Texas rig with an EWG style hook. That is really good when you're fishing vertically over top of brush piles for spotted bass. Uh, you can get actually in that brush and uh, work that, that little bait around there and they will eat it. And then you can yank them right out of there. We've got all of your basic color options covered. Now, if you're gonna fish the micro jig, We've got all of those colors matching perfectly, you know, including green pumpkin and black, which are great natural colors, just fish by themselves. And anytime you're fishing around rock, you definitely want to take a look at the PB&J. Each of these baits is made with zero salt in there, which makes them neutrally buoyant, super soft, and they're going to have anise oil impregnated in the baits as they're made. And then they're going to have crawfish oil added to the bait. So you get that sweet yet fishy smell. Each bag is made in the USA with 15 baits in each one for a suggested retail price of $3.99. This is the Bomb Shot by Missile Baits, a four inch drop shot designed worm that will not stop moving underwater. Now I designed this bait exactly for finesse drop shot applications going after all types of bass smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, spotted bass. They all love a finesse bait on a drop shot. And this is exactly what I designed that for. Uh, as you can see, uh, you, there's two different ways to, to rig the, the bomb shot. You can either nose hook it just like this on a little, uh, little small hook. And a drop shot, uh, for those that don't know, is when the hook is above the weight, helps keep your bait up off the bottom, a really good finesse tactic. Uh, right there, you can see it's nose hooked. And then you can also Texas rig the, the bomb shot with a little uh, one number one Gamakatsu EWG style hook. These baits are made right here 
in the USA and they're made with a super soft, no salt formula, which helps give them a neutral buoyancy. It will not float the hook and it will not sink the hook. They stay at a neutral buoyancy, which gives them the maximum amount of action possible. And as you can see, these baits underwater move with just the slightest twitch of the rod or the line and it drives bass crazy. The bomb shot comes in a variety of colors, gonna match whatever conditions you're gonna see. Some of my favorites is the MM3 is a great all around favorite, really good around rock. You've got the Pinkalicious. Pinkalicious is anytime I'm spotted bass fishing, I'm definitely gonna have that handy. Uh, the Green Pumpkin works in all situations, but the Green Pumpkin Flash is one that I have gone to rely on uh, in many different situations. And then in the fall, I really like the bait fish colors. Fishalicious is one of my favorite. And, uh, and also the, the goby bite, anytime I'm up north fishing around uh, those smallmouth and those great lakes, uh, and any, any lake up north, that, that seems to be a, uh, one that excels. And then the cherry blossom, anytime in the summertime, I really like baits that are red, so that cherry blossom fits the bill right there. So you got whatever color you're looking for, you're gonna find it in the bomb shot. 15 baits are gonna come in each bag, each bag, has, uh, the baits are made with anise oil, and then there's a touch of crawfish oil added, so you get that sweet yet fishy smell in each bag, 15 baits in each bag for a suggested retail price of $3.99. This is the Ned Bomb from Missile Baits. It is a three and a quarter inch soft plastic lure that's created to fish for bass on a Ned rig. Now, what is a Ned rig? A Ned rig is just a little small hook with a little small jig head used to fish on spinning rods, lighter line. You're gonna throw this bait out there. It's gonna sail on the way down. You're gonna fish it slowly across the bottom, make short hops on the way up, and all it does is catch a ton of bass. Now, where did the name Ned come from? Came from Ned Katie. Uh, kind of put this technique on the map. And the best part about it is that it it catches a lot of fish and it catches big fish. And now I'm talking bass all over the country from north to south, smallmouth, spotted bass, and of course, largemouth as well. Uh, you can not only fish it on a, on a net head, but you can also fish it on a drop shot. It's a short compact bait, but that little teeny tail uh, that's really thin uh, undulates at just the slightest twitch of the rod, whether it's on a drop shot or it's on a net head. Either way, it's gonna have just that subtle action that's gonna drive bass absolutely crazy. Now the Ned Bomb comes in well over 20 colors from Missile Baits. You've got solid colors. Green Pumpkin, of course, is the number one seller. And then there's a lot of two color laminate options, three color laminate options. And if we've got the new tail colors, which no other manufacturer makes. And we also have core shot colors, which no other manufacturer makes. So whatever, color combination basically you can dream of, Missile Baits makes it. And Missile Baits makes these baits right here in the United States of America, right here in the USA. And when they're made, they're made with a low salt content formula. What that low salt does is it gives it neutral buoyancy. Neutral buoyancy is key for this bait to have the maximum amount of action. It is not being pulled to the bottom like a heavier formula and is not floating, uh, being pulled to the surface. So that bait is gonna have a ton of action when worked at very slow speeds. It will not stand a Ned head up, but it will not pull it over. It is neutrally buoyant and that's that low salt formula is very durable. You can see the baits have a lot of stretch to them, a lot of play. You can catch a lot of fish on each one of these baits. And when these baits are made, they're made with anise oil baked into the baits and then there's crawfish oil added to the baits as they're bagged so you get that sweet yet fishy smell every time you open the bag and smell one of these baits in each bag of missile baits you're going to have 10 baits for a suggested retail price of $3.99 this is the quiver 4.5 for missile baits it is a four and a half inch worm made to catch bass on a Nico rig. Now you might say, what is a Nico rig? Well, a Nico rig is a, a really hot bass fishing technique to where you hook the bait wacky rig style or Nico rig style through the middle 
and then you take a nail weight and put it directly in the head, the nail weight, also called the Nico weight. You put that in the head, the bait sinks, and then as you pull it, the whole worm will quiver, hence the name Quiver 4.5. Now this bait also has other options to catch fish. Uh, you can rig it other ways, like on a drop shot with a little bit bigger hook. You can Texas rig it. You can put a good size hook in that as well. And then for the, uh, for the very popular Tokyo rig, it works perfect. As you can see, it matches up really well on a Tokyo rig. Now, there are gonna be a lot of different color options with the, with the Quiver 4.5. Green Pumpkin's probably gonna be your number one seller, but based on whatever you're trying to imitate, whether it's a bluegill or a shad or just a regular minnow or some other uh, form, you're gonna have whatever color options that you may want. Now, each of these baits are gonna be made with anise oil put into the bags. And then it's also gonna have some crawfish oil added to the bag. So you're gonna get that sweet yet fishy smell every time you take one of those quivers out of the bag. And each one of these baits is made right here in the USA. It's gonna have a neutrally buoyant formula, which gives that bait the most amount of action and the most durability possible. You want that bait to have neutrally buoyant uh, flotation because that bait, when it's on that Nico rig, you don't want it to be pulled down to the bottom as you would with a denser formula, and you don't want it to float because it's it's gonna once it wiggles once it's done. It's gonna it's gonna try to float, and and, it's, and consequently it's not gonna fall in the same way. So that neutral buoyancy, once you quiver it once, it's gonna keep quivering all the way until that hook pulls it down to the ground. So tons of tons of action underwater for this thing. It looks absolutely amazing, and the fish will absolutely eat it up. You're gonna have eight of these quivers in each bag for suggested retail price of $3.99. This is the Quiver 6.5 from Missile Baits. Now, it is a six and a half inch straight worm that has a ton of action designed to catch bass primarily on a Nico rig. Now, what is a Nico rig, you wanna ask? A Nico rig is when you take a hook, stick it through the middle of the bait, then you're gonna take some sort of nail weight or Nico weight and insert it directly into the head to where that causes the bait to sink. And then as you pull it, the worm's gonna come together and quiver, if you will, hence the name Quiver 6.5. Now the, the 6.5 is the bigger of the two quiver worms. This is gonna be primarily more of your largemouth focused size, uh, you know, but they're gonna catch smallmouth and spotted bass, especially when you want that larger profile in a worm. But, you know, using it on a Nico rig is not the only way that you can fish the Quiver 6.5. It matches up perfectly on a Tokyo rig. You know, one of the worms that was uh, initially designed for the Tokyo rig, this is the similar length. And of course, this, this bait has a ton of action on that rig. As you can see underwater, it looks amazing. It looks great on a, a big shaky head when you want a little bit bigger profile on that shaky head worm. And then also on the drop shot, when you want that drop shot to have a little bit bigger profile, you know, you're gonna be hitting it around uh, some areas, you know, trying to catch those bigger fish, but yet still wanna stay in a finesse technique. That's when you wanna go to that quiver 6.5. Of course, green pumpkin is gonna be your number one selling color, but there's gonna be a bunch of other options they can kind of give you something to uh, to try out. Other colors are definitely gonna work very well. And then each of these baits is made with anise oil in the baits as they're made. Then they're gonna have crawfish oil added to the bags when they're put in the bags. That is gonna give you a sweet yet fishy smell when you put one of those quivers on your, on your hook. And then you're gonna have, of course, all of these baits are made right here in the USA. And there's gonna be six of those quiver 6.5s in each bag for a suggested retail price of $3.99.